And welcome back to Broader Financial Future, to all my future millionaires and billionaires out there. Hopefully, you're having an amazing day and all your investments are going well. Hopefully. All right, folks, in today's video, I'm going to discuss one of Fidelity's dividend index fund. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. In addition, Hit that like button if you're returning as well. So let's jump in into today's video. Without any further ado, the index fund we're going to talk about is Fidelity Strategic Dividend and Income Fund. I just like the name, Strategic Dividend. As a dividend investor, you have to be strategic. The ticker for this fund is FSDIX. Now, what is this particular fund, right? The fund focuses on stocks that pay a current dividend and show potential for capital appreciation, basically growth in the stock. It invests in domestic and foreign um, issuers. So it's not just in the United States. Um, this particular fund, it does not have a minimum to start investing. So let's look at a couple of things here, a couple of highlights when it comes to this particular index fund. It's specifically for Fidelity investors, so if you don't have a Fidelity brokerage account, you can't get this particular fund. But if you do, you can actually get it. This fund was started in 2003. It does have a bit of a high expense ratio of 0.68%. And there's no minimum to start investing, so you can jump in as little as a dollar a month. It has a 37% turnover rate. So let's see what are some of the top 10 holdings we actually get with this particular index fund. So the top 10 holdings account for 17.43% of all their holdings. In total, they have 737 holdings. So we got big names like Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Cisco System, Lilly, Avi, Pepsi, McDonald's, and Comcast. And next to the energy. So those are the, the big dogs when it comes to um, their top 10 holdings. I actually own some of these companies on an individual level, but you're getting that in this fund as well if you do decide to pick this fund. In addition, let's break it down by industry, right? They're really heavily weighted in the real estate space. So they're more exposed in real estate. Second is healthcare. Third is finance. Next on the list, you're going to get into like information technology, consumer staples, industries, communication services, a bit in utilities, consumer discretionaries, a little bit in energy and materials. So materials is the least on the list, but, you know, they're definitely heavily on the real estate side. Now, when it comes to the country diversification, it's heavily centered in the United States with about 89%. And then second is Canada with 1.73%. And then other countries account for about 4.43% of the diversification. How to do that real quick. Of its diversification um, worldwide. All right. So in addition to that, when you look at the performance, year to date, just like a lot of index funds and ETFs, it's down 3.72%. And the great thing about that is if you own any individual stock like Facebook, which is down a lot this year, you're not taking the brunt of the hit um, when you own an ETF or index fund, unless that whole sector is just going down. But this is more like diversified in different industries. Um, in addition, if you look at the one-year uh, mark, it's up 15%, three years, 13%, five years, 10%, the life of the fund, 8.9%. So you're still getting um, some good returns when it comes to the long haul of this particular portfolio. All right, let's do a hypothetical real quick. If you can see here on the chart, a hypothetical, we invested $10,000 10 years ago. You'll be up six thousand dollars, six hundred and eighty-three bucks. About so that's the great thing about index funds. 
is an easy way to invest in dividend stocks. Um, you don't have to worry about picking any particular stock and hoping that you know they suspend a the dividend or cut the dividend. Um, a fund like this is just an easy way to kind of get into the dividend game as you learn. Uh, so my personal thoughts, um, I think it's a decent fund. You know, if you want to invest on a month to month basis. Um, I also like um, SCHD. I did a video on that as well. Check it out. That's an ETF. So you don't, if you don't have a Fidelity brokerage account, you can actually check that one out instead. In addition to that, I do think it has a high expense ratio. But overall, um, it's, it's, I think it's decent. But I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are strictly for entertainment purposes only. And any investment may involve risk. I do believe you have to invest in what you believe in. And for my goals for 2022, I'm moving more into index funds and ETFs. I will continue to buy individual dividend stocks and a bit of growth stocks and a little bit of crypto. But overall, the focus of this year is ETFs and index funds uh, from, for me personally. And I'll probably do more videos on that in addition to everything else. But don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Uh, leave a comment below if you own this particular fund and let me know your thoughts. Peace.